All the schools have been getting shot in part because the schools are trying to reorganize um, and they're not considerate of uh, how kids live and where they live and the gang lines they may or may not be crossing. So over the summer I lost a student and uh, I'm going to read a eulogy uh, on his behalf. This is a eulogy for Jeff Maldonado Jr. Murdered the day after his 19th birthday on his way for a slice of pizza with his barber in Pilsen. The young man who shot Jeff was seeking revenge in the wrong place. The white van he chose that afternoon was not full of his father's assassins, just two young men on their way for a slice, a case of mistaken identity. This is a eulogy for Jeff Maldonado Jr., who died in his parents' arms the day after his 19th birthday, the morning after his father, Jeff Maldonado Sr., who mixes ancient and contemporary themes into beautifully lush paintings, took his only child for his birthday gift request, an old-school fitted socks hat, south side till he die. This is a eulogy for Jeff Maldonado Jr., J-Def, some of his friends would call him a moniker for an aspiring MC. I met him once after reading poems to a lunchroom of students at Perspectives Charter School in the South South Loop. After I was finished, I asked if anyone would like to read some of their own work. There was a small rumble at one table, friends of the humble and sweet J-Def pushed him to the forefront. He reluctantly stood, walked to the front of the lunchroom in front of me and asked for a beat. I proceeded to give him one and he dropped rhymes about his neighborhood, his love for hip hop, his life. J. Def got a little known in his 19 years and young writers from around the city hit me up on Facebook to ask if I had heard what had happened. Some thought gangbangers to blame, some said police, some said the system, some said kids in gangs are our kids too. This is a eulogy for Jeff Maldonado Jr., J. Def, whose identity had been mistaken before in these same streets by police who think he's gang related, by gangs who think he's gang related, by train riders who think he's gang related, and society who sees a young Latino from a working class community with aerosol scarred fingers and think he's gang related. Stop killing my friends. The signs in Pilsen read, the message is for kids in gangs who fire, yes, but the message is also for police who fire, for military recruiters who send JDEF's comrades to basic training because they want some basic training and the schools and closing community centers have failed them or shut their doors to them and push them out into the war raging in the streets or the war raging in streets in some other country where some other people work and are brown and killed because their identity has too been mistaken too many times. There is an epidemic in Chicago of high school aged boys and girls murdered by gunfire on the front lines of a changing city or on the front lines of a world changing overseas. It is not safe to be a young person. You can get shot for riding for takeout or get taken out because the army was your only way out to college or cops or gangs or someone shot you because you fit the description but the description is always the same young and working class or poor and of color and failed by every institution gang or government structure this is a eulogy for Jeff Maldonado Jr. whose community mourns a young artist sent away too soon left wondering why their identities when will they be stopped taken and overtaken and mistaken in the streets, in the barrio, and in the streets, in the hood, that is everywhere. Thanks.